He did the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. He did the match. It caught on in a flash. He did the match. He did the monster. Good morning, owls. Today is Friday, October 28th. As you can see, today's a wonderful TGIF. I can't wait for the PBIS event next week. The Fall Festival. Speaking of PBIS, let's figure out who this month's red coat, <clears throat> I mean red shirt winners are. the first Halloween was celebrated over 2,000 years ago in Europe? Nope, I had no idea. There was a festival called... May I? Yep. Thanks. The festival called Samhain was held on the last day of summer, October 31st. Wow, don't I just love learning new facts? Then you're gonna love our word of the week. The word of the week is transformation. Transformation means a change in form, appearance, nature, or character. Here's the word transformation in a couple of sentences. The transformation was quick and smooth. Flips, slides, and turns are all examples of a transformation. You'll see my transformation at the masquerade ball. Hit clear. I just read that some owls were believed to be witches in medieval Europe. In the heat, I just thought they were just the school mascot. Did you know that some owls are native to Florida? They must like the warm weather. Feed the guy is learning about the weather. Let's go! <laughs> Today on 60 Second Science, we're learning about weather. Fifth graders have been studying climate and weather and learning about the tools used to measure it. They even got a chance to be meteorologists. Take a look. I'm Alethea, your meteorologist today, and I will be covering your local weather in Brooklyn, New York. Hello, we'll be your meteorologist for today. Here's the weather from Topeka, Kansas. The high temperature will be at 86 degrees and the low temperature will be at 70 degrees. There is a 70% chance of rain, so don't forget your umbrellas. We learned that climate means the average weather conditions in a specific place over 30 years time. Here in Central Florida, we have a humid subtropical climate. That means it's usually warm and sunny with long hot summers that can make you feel sticky. But what's the climate like in, say, New York? The wind speed is nine miles per hour coming from northwest heading towards southeast. Students use the weather.com to research the temperatures and conditions in other cities and states across the country so they could simulate a five-day forecast. We learned about the tools to measure the conditions as well, such as the thermometer to measure the temperature, an anemometer to measure the wind speed, a barometer to measure the atmospheric pressure and the difference between a rain gauge, which measures the amount of rainfall, and a hygrometer, which measures the humidity, or water vapor in the air. I never knew there were so many tools and calculations involved in a weather report. There's a lot of math and science too. Paying attention to the weather can help you decide what to wear and whether or not you need an umbrella. Claire, did you change again? 
Of course I did, Haley. It's elementary. What are you looking for? I'm investigating how this magic eight ball works. It's quite the puzzle. You're not supposed to figure that out. That's why it's called magic. I learned that from the great Jazzini. Hello guys, it's Jazzini, and I'm here to show you some of my beautiful magic tricks. For the first one, here I have an empty black pot and my beautiful magic wand. As everyone knows, every magic wand has its own special power. And I want to show you mine. Do you guys want to know? I hope you do. So on the count of three, we're all going to say abracadabra. You, can, you, you don't have to say what you could if you want. One, two, three. Abracadabra! Beautiful flower has appeared. For our next trick, I like to call this the doodly dice. And I'm going to make this die multiply. So one, two, three. Abracadabra! For our next trick, I like to call it the crazy coloring book. And now, you're going to be quite crazy. One, two, three. Abracadabra! It's full of amazing colors. What? It doesn't have colors? Oh no! Guys, give me the colors! Thank you for those colors, guys. Back to beautiful. Now, get the colors, but don't get the black, okay? Whoa. <laughs> okay. Back to see black and white, so I'll have to color it again. <laughs> back, back to black and white. What? Oh my god! I, I will have to redraw it, but at least give me the black back so I could have drawings. Thank you guys! And that's all for today, Owl. I'm the amazing Nazini! Did you know that October 28th is National Chocolate Day? Does that mean that we get to eat chocolate all day? Basically, yes! Did you know that chocolate is actually made from cacao beans? Wow, really? Chocolate is made from cacao beans which grow on cacao trees. One cacao tree can produce up to 2,500 cacao beans. I just read that it takes over 400 cacao beans to make one pound of chocolate. That means one cacao tree can make six pounds of chocolate. Did you know that dark chocolate can actually be healthy for you? Wow, really? The zinc, magnesium, and antioxidants can actually lower your risk of heart disease. But it could harm cats or dogs, so don't share with your pets. Hee hee hee, more for me. Claire, what are you wearing now? I don't know. I just can't decide. No matter what Halloween costume you wear, or how you celebrate the holiday, remember to stay safe. And that's our show, Owls. Have a great day here at the Oaks.